Hey guys, it's Rio. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a super easy and quick tutorial on how to do the driver's license TikTok trend. So if you haven't seen this driver's license trend going around on TikTok, I will be beyond surprised because this trend has gone viral. So I would highly suggest watching this tutorial because TikTok are pushing these videos doing this trend out on the For You page. You will get For You page coverage. And people are also obsessed with watching this trend. Trend. If people are commenting like I can't start watching videos of this trend So if you do this trend basically you're gonna get a lot of views So this is the video that I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do today the driver's license trend All you need is two jumpers and a dress for the end scene And I'll be showing you how to do the head transition the full back transition and the zoom transition at the end But I promise you it is free quick and easy <laughs> Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just grab the sound on TikTok. If you don't have it, you can find it on my page here, Rhea.official. Just scroll down, it's this one here with the dress. Click on the sound in the bottom right hand corner and then click use this sound, ready to shoot. Okay, so now you have the sound, you're ready to film. So you're going to want to prop your phone up either in a ring light like I have here or on a bookcase or a shelf, somewhere where it won't move. It needs to stay still. Then you're going to click the filter button on the top right hand side of the screen and you're going to want to find a filter called tonal and add it on a little bit just so it drains the colour a little bit because this is like the sad part. So we need it to be kind of black and white grey. So just put it up to like 15 or 20 and then you're going to set the timer and mark it up to 6 seconds and then all you're going to do is mind the words and then at the end you turn your head to the right so this bit is kind of sad like you can add you know like a tissue in or a few tears like basically you're really sad you need to act like you're sad in this part and then don't forget at the end to turn your head to the right and stop because that's our transition so I'm going to set the timer to 6 seconds now and just show you what I mean basically you need to time the head twist at the very end of that piece so six seconds here to so just mind the words all sad. So as you hear then when the music stopped, my head stopped. Perfect. You just need to time it like that. First part done. So the second part now you need to change outfit. You just need to put on a different jump because it's supposed to be a different day and you also need to change location. So just go anywhere else in your room and wear a different jumper. Okay so as you can see I now have a different jumper on and I've also switched my location. So again we're going to want to go on the right hand side of the screen, click filters, stay on tonal but make it higher. Like we really want to go to black and white because this is the part where we're really sad now. So I put it up to like 55 and we're just going to mind the words again but the first thing we're going to do this time is look to the left and spin around because we're finishing off our transition that we just ended so we look to the left spin around mind the words and then just at the end of this clip we start to fall back ready for when we fall back on the bed and with this clip as well you're meant to be looking into a mirror so it doesn't matter if you have a mirror there or not just pretend so you're not looking at the phone this time you're looking beyond the phone just like off to the side of the phone because you're supposed to be looking in a mirror so you start this clip with your head to the left turn it around looking not at the camera but to the side of the camera and then at the end fall back that's the three things you need to remember i'll show you exactly what i mean now when you watch me do it so again click on the timer and click on the up to the 13 second mark so remember we're starting towards the left here So as you saw there, I wasn't looking at the camera, I was looking to the side and then at the end, just drop back and I'll be ready for our last transition. Okay, the last part, clip three, you're going to go and put on your dress. Okay, here's my dress. Yay! So once you have your dress on, you're ready to film the last part of this video. So you're actually going to save that TikTok video to your drafts. Just click drafts and you're going to open up your normal camera instead now there are two ways to do this last overhead transition so i'm going to tell you both ways now the first way is to sellotape your phone to the ceiling above your bed so if you are going to do this i suggest you either use masking tape or parcel tape or double-sided sticky tape i'm telling you now if you use double-sided sticky tape that phone ain't going nowhere you could sellotape your phone to a tractor with this and it would never come off it's amazing you can get it in wilco on amazon anywhere so grab your tape and then you're gonna choose a little spot above your bed <laughs> and you're gonna put your phone on the ceiling and use the sellotape to attach the phone. So set your phone to record and then just sellotape your phone on the ceiling and you can do this part on the bed. As you can see, my ceiling is really awkward. It like, 
goes down so I can't do it this way so if you have the awkward ceiling too or you just don't feel comfortable sellotaping your phone all the way up there I'll show you another way to do it now so the second way you do it is to grab a super fluffy blanket put it on the floor and you're gonna use your ring light to hold the phone instead so as you can see here just pop your blanket on the floor like this and try and pick like a super fluffy one just to make it look like you are on the bed and then you're gonna pop your phone in your ring light and move your ring light head down to here so it's gonna be up above you just pop the legs of your ring light under the blanket so then the camera doesn't pick them up the blanket hides the metal of the ring light so as you can see the camera is right ahead of me now so all you're gonna do for this clip is drop back and then either mind the words or just do something with your hands so click record and then drop back Wow, I had no idea what I was doing. I was just like randomly pouting, but you get it. Drop back and then that's the end of the video. So now I'm going to show you how to edit this bit so it does the whole zoomy thing and you can add like glitter and stuff. And then that's the end of the video. <laughs> this is the most awkward tutorial I've ever made. Okay, so now we're ready to finally do that last zoom transition and put this video together. So to do this, you're going to download the app called Video Leap. But don't worry, it is completely free. You get three days free to use this app. You don't have to pay anything. And it's not going to take you three days to make this video so you're all good so once you've downloaded it this is what it will look like and then you're just going to click the plus button and add in the video that you just filmed where you fell backwards there we go then you're going to click on it on the reel so it highlights white and then click the diamond down in the bottom right hand corner there we go and then scroll to the end and click the diamond again so you click the diamond at the beginning of the clip and after the clip and now all you're going to want to do is adjust the clip at the end so click on it again and you can zoom in with your hands so you can choose how close it zooms into so i'll just say there and then you'll see the app's done all the work for you click play and it's doing the whole cool zoomy thing <laughs> yay and then you're going to click in the top right hand corner export and then click save and now we're just going to add that to the tiktok video that we just did so to do this we're going to open tiktok back up go into our drafts there we go open it up click back and click back again to continue shooting and then we're going to click down in the bottom left hand corner to find the whole video green screen thing there it is there and then we can just choose our video here click next and just click the record button and it adds it in for you so then if we play this video back here you've fallen back and it has the whole cool zoomy thing and you're ready to literally post your tiktok so the only effect you need to make sure you use there on tiktok is the video green screen but everyone has that on the app just if it's not at the top like mine was just search through the effects and it will be on there it's a green screen with the rainbow colored video background so i really hope this tutorial helped you guys sorry it was very awkward to film this but if you have any questions at all please just comment them down below and i will answer them as soon as i can or just dm me on instagram and i can answer them probably in more detail on there but thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye